Hey toy fans, D21Beast Rob here, back with another vlog or unboxing video, really whatever you want to call it. Just uh, checking in with you guys. I'm in the middle of doing my Marvel Legends X-Men reviews and these things are really cool. I've done six of the eight figures so far, if you don't count the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut, which I'll definitely be reviewing as well. Uh, but we're down to Wolverine and Deadpool and it's hard for me to pick at this point what my favorite one from the wave is, but I think I'm gonna let you guys know once I've had a chance to check everything out. Uh, next up, I think I'm gonna be hitting Wolverine. That'll be the last piece of Juggernaut that I need. And then I'll probably be doing Deadpool last. This is the uh, most desired figure of the wave, I believe. And he's got a ton of stuff with him. So there's going to be some I'll need to be able to take it in, I guess, everything that he's got packaged with him. So uh, those are still coming up, but thanks for checking out the reviews I've done so far. Uh, while I've been gone, I had a friend of mine, a coworker actually, uh, at the new job I've told you guys about. He actually managed to track down High C Ecto Cooler, which amazing really amazing i cannot tell you how many different places i've gone to how many different weekends trying to track this stuff down i really should have just made a documentary of the whole thing it's been pretty depressing but there is one store in uh central missouri that actually stocks uh the high c ecto cooler so i have a case right here of the juice boxes sadly uh we don't seem to be getting the cans in this area so we're gonna have to deal with these six fluid ounce juice boxes uh, but I want to go ahead and open one up and uh, try it here with you guys. I wanted to check this out at the same time that I did the, um, the Twinkie review. I thought that would be kind of appropriate to have that drink to wash down the Twinkies. But man, Coca-Cola's distribution has just been awful with these things. Some of you prob or some of you watching probably still haven't even been able to find this drink where you're at. So uh, let's get this guy cut open, and I'm ready to take a sip. All right, here we go. It's got a brand new packaging. As I mentioned in my Twinkie review, there's no Slimer on it, unfortunately. I can only barely remember what this drink used to taste like from when I was a kid, but obviously it's an orange flavored drink. It's got oranges on the packaging, so let's give it a whirl. But it's definitely high C in all of its sugary greatness. Looks like it's got, oh wow, about 21 grams of sugar per six ounce package. That is absolutely insane. But if you guys haven't been able to track it down yet, I do wish you the best of luck. It's been very hard for me to find this drink and I've got to give a special thanks to Joel, uh, my partner in crime at my new job for uh, picking this up for me. I'm much appreciated. Uh, but this isn't the only package that I've received recently. I actually got a great package here from uh, Glenn Webb, toy reviewer extraordinaire, former co-host of uh, Articulation Assembled. Uh, gotta give him a big thanks for sending me this package. Um, I know it's inside, but to build some suspense, uh, let's go ahead and cut it open and I'll take a look at it together. All right, guys, always be careful when cutting open a package, especially if you're using a knife like I'm doing. Don't wanna hurt yourself, but here's what we've got. This package actually contains, well, uh, I guess an actor that uh, also comes from the United Kingdom. Inside, we've got more than I expected. What do we have in here? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we've got, uh, this is cool. This is for View Big Screen Entertainment. This looks like a flyer for X-Men Apocalypse. That's awesome. Uh, thanks, Glenn. I'm guessing they were handing these out at the theater you went and saw the movie at. I will definitely be holding on to this. I love my X-Men memorabilia. Uh, you guys may have seen the videos, the collection videos I did for the uh, first, second, and third X-Men films. Probably need to do one for the later films at some point, but this is really cool. I'll definitely be able to show that off whenever I get to one of those collections. That's, that's awesome, man. Thank you. And inside, we've got... What is this? This is Empire Magazine, 60 page bonus magazine. Oh, this is, well, this is awesome. This is uh, celebrating the 50 years of Star Trek. This, I didn't even know they had this special edition magazine for Empire. That's awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, this is so cool. Um, I cannot wait to check this out. I wonder if I can reseal it. We'll take a look at that in just a second. That's amazing, thanks. And man. Okay, I gotta stop. That's amazing. Thanks, Glenn. And, uh, man, after all that, I feel like I don't even deserve the last part of this, but uh, here is uh, the action figure that Glenn was sending me, the Hulkbuster Wave Loki figure from the UK exclusive uh, Marvel Legends figures. This is a figure I've been really excited for. Man, I'm practically spoiled here. Well, um, let's get, I guess, uh, I have Thor over here on the shelf. As you can see here, this is the Amazon exclusive Thor that um, I actually made one of my nominations for Best Way of last year. Uh, I'm gonna get Loki out of the packaging real fast so we can see these guys side by side. 
All right, so I'll be sure to give you guys a close-up, but here we have Thor and Loki side by side, and I think it's a pretty good size to, uh, compared to the Thor figure. Also, I think the likeness is actually pretty good for Tom Hiddleston. Let's see if his helmet comes off. I remember the Walmart version coming off. It does, and it's not as soft and rubbery as I uh, remember it being from back in the day. I saw it's seen some videos online, so I'm glad they made that a firmer plastic. But it fits comfortably around the figure without making his head look too big. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to review this figure. I'm really, really excited to finally have this in my collection. Now we have uh, two MCU villains in Marvel Legends form, both with uh, the Ultron Build-A-Figure and now with Loki. Hopefully we get more villains uh, in future waves, but really cool to have this. But i got to be honest, as awesome as this Loki is, this Star Trek magazine is probably something I'm most excited for. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I, I'm a huge Trekkie, but this is really, really cool. Uh, let's get this thing open and see what's inside this. All right, guys, so here's the uh, packaging itself. You can see at the top it does announce that there's a 60-page bonus magazine for Star Trek collectors inside. Otherwise, you have this really reflective metallic packaging with a nice shot of the Enterprise, an image of the magazine inside, and then just some other stories being covered by Empire Magazine in this current issue. Flipping it around, we have more images from Star Trek, letting you know what's going on with the franchise. And as you can see, um, it's kind of sticky at the bottom. I might be able to reseal this, but honestly, I don't think I will. I might just keep all of this stuff out and separate. Now, inside the packaging, what did we have? Well, the first thing is this EMP catalog. Um, it appears to be just geek memorabilia, clothing, pop vinyls, things of that nature. Um, I'm not actually familiar with this publication. It looks like it is um, probably a UK-based uh, geek catalog, as it were. Maybe it comes with every Empire magazine issue. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below. But still, pretty cool stuff inside. Uh, then we have this, which was not expected, but really nice of Empire to do. The editor-in-chief actually wrote a letter uh, to the people who pick up the Star Trek Collector's Magazine, just kind of announcing the death of Anton Yelchin and the uh, thoughts of the team uh, as they poured away hours putting that magazine together, and then, um, you know, kind of what's... Well, what he meant to the franchise and that they're sad he passed, frankly, but very, very nice, very classy thing for Empire Magazine to do. I uh, definitely didn't have to include that, but I like that they did. And then we have the actual Star Trek book itself. It's got a matte finish uh, to it, a little bit of gloss, but has a nice Delta Shield saying where no man has gone before, 50 years of Star Trek, and inside is just a plethora of content related to the franchise. Lots of stuff in here. A lot of pictures, actually, that I haven't seen before from behind the scenes, so it's really cool of them to do this. Uh, my favorite's probably in the back, though, where it's basically nothing but uh, behind the scenes production images and of course now I can't find it on camera. Here we go So there's a bunch of great shots. I like the one of William Shatner and Patrick Stewart together uh, There's a shot of the Enterprise D when they were filming it uh, shot of the Voyager I mean really cool stuff in here original shot from uh, the episode the cage so great great stuff uh, cool to have that I'll definitely be spending a lot of time taking a look at that and I probably can guess my brother will want to check it out, too Finally, we have the actual issue of Empire Magazine, and I hadn't seen the uh, cover for it yet before uh, opening this package. Uh, really nice homage to Star Trek The Motion Picture. Uh, there's actually a fan poster that was available at a Star Trek fan event uh, about a month ago, where they gave another sort of homage poster out to fans, and this is kind of Empire's version of it, but I really like what they've done here. Very, very cool. Inside, though, it looks like it's just your standard issue of Empire Magazine, so at least for this particular issue. So lots of cool stuff in here, um, but really just a great set overall there we go uh back on track nice uh, pun there so uh yeah if you guys have access to empire magazine and you're a trek you definitely want to check this out if you can find the collector's edition still that's probably also something you want to go after but really a great set and i'm really glad to have this in my collection all right, toy fans. Well, there's some pretty cool stuff that I just received. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Joel again for securing High C Ecto Cooler for me, finally. But also a special thanks to Glenn Webb, man, for sending me uh, the magazine, the figure, the X-Men card. Uh, that was all really cool. Most of it unexpected. So thanks a lot. You're awesome. And guys, if you haven't already, and I can't imagine why, but if you haven't checked out Glenn Webb's videos, I'll be sure to put a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, but thanks for joining me this time, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.